Hey, it's Mark Ferguson, and I'm at my office here and had a few of my cars out for a fun car Friday. There's my Esprit, my 91 Supra. The Tesla over there is not mine. That's Justin who works in my office. And we've got the Countach over here on the left as well. But what this video is going to be is the 1986 Porsche 928 on the right. We've got videos of all the other cars on this channel as well. But I have not had this car out for a very long time. So it's really fun to get it out, drive it. We're going to show some interior shots, talk about the car, show some exterior shots, some acceleration. And it's a fun car, sounds beautiful. It's a little dirty right now, not going to lie. We'll show it cleaned up later on. And we'll show the first start later on too in probably three or four months at least. But uh, we're going to go drive it. That's what this car was meant to do. It's got probably close to 150,000 miles on it. Maybe it's between 140, 150, hard to say. Like I said, we had to get the battery charged, so I, that's underneath all that stuff. So we'll get all that put back. Don't worry. <laughs> um, that's a pain, but it's worth it. All right, so let's get inside, take the car for a drive, talk about it, and then we'll show a few different views on this beauty. Eighty-six Porsche 928. Haven't driven this car for a while. And we're gonna go to the liquor store. My liquor store. Um, this is a wonderful car. Love this car. I've had it for 13 years now. Um, 130,000 miles are shown on it, but it has more than that because the speedometer sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Uh, or the odometer, this odometer works. Five liter V8, uh, five speed transmission, black on black. I've put probably 20,000 miles in the car, hard to say, because the odometer hasn't worked. But also put a chip and an off-road pipe on it, which makes it sound so much better and um, drive so much better too. It's got a weird kind of torque horsepower curve thing stock and um, the chip and exhaust really level that out probably mostly the chip it's a pork and chip a guy named pork and makes them and it adds a bunch of horsepower too you know a lot of those companies say oh yeah um, our exhaust and chip add 50 horsepower 20 horsepower you can't feel a thing when I did that to this car you could feel it it added a bunch of power and Stock horsepower is supposed to be 288 at the crank. Um, not sure where it is at the wheels. Oh, look at that. There's a SS Camaro from the 90s. Um, and uh, there's lots of dynos to show this car put up. Uh, over 300 rear wheel horsepower <laughs> after those mods. So. It definitely adds some power. And sounds so much better. Beautiful sounding V8. This car I bought for $6,000 in 2010 out of New York. Um, it I flew out there, saw it, then had it shipped back. Had like 112,000 miles at that time. And, um, great car, like I said. It's needed very little work, but extremely reliable, really fun. And, uh, tons of room, too, for people who uh, are bigger and want a car that's got more space. This car is great for you. You've got tons of room for tall people. I've got the seat up quite a bit. It goes way back. And then lots of headroom when you go back to you. I don't know why it was so far up. That is one thing. I pushed the seat. I forgot about that. <laughs> Push the seat back. It doesn't always go forward. There we go. So gotta make sure I don't mess with that too much. So I'm 6'1 and not tiny, but uh, it has so much more room for tall people. Hopefully, it gets us there okay.
that makes you want to drive fast. It's a, it's a fun car to drive. This car has been in a number of movies, Weird Science, Risky Business, of course, Scarface, lots of other ones. And, uh, oh, um, interesting story in Pulp Fiction, they've got the NSX that the crime guy drives who helps him get rid of the body. They actually use the V8 sound from a Porsche 928 when that NSX is taking off. That is not the NSX sound, so it's got a great sound. Even the stock 928 sound pretty good, but once you put an exhaust on them, they sound so much better. I like this car too because it, you know, I've got the Lamborghinis and different stuff, and uh, I'm not afraid to, you know, drive this one a little harder and have some fun with this one. Because it was pretty affordable, and they're still somewhat affordable. Of course, those pesky speed limits keep me in check a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. What else do I want to talk about? This is a 1986. 928S. This is the original kind of body style. In 1987, the S4 was produced, which kind of was more rounded, rounder front, rounder back. I like both styles. Um, you've got the GT, which was 1990, 1991, I believe. That's a five-speed model, but there are also some S4s that were five-speed. They did some weird stuff. You got the GTS, which I think is 93 to 97, or is it 92 to 9? I can't remember exactly. Those had the most horsepower, widest tires, most expensive cars. Those were up over 100,000 new. And the Porsche 928 was the most expensive car Porsche made. It was they're supposed to be the um, predecessor, the takeover for the 930. It was more expensive than the 930, more luxurious. Um, but Porsche purists didn't like the idea of a front engine V8. They wanted that flat six in the back and with the turbo. Some people love that, some people don't, but it, it never was able to take over for the 930. And I think they're both such different cars, I'm glad they made both of them. But 928s are fabulously fun cars to drive. My windshield is cracked, it's been that way for a while. To get this windshield is probably like $1,500 an hour or more. Um, you can, you, it's really annoying because you find them online. $400, $500 and it turns out it's not the right windshield because the antenna is in here for the radio. So you really do want to get the right one. And I don't drive this car a ton, so I've just been lazy and not wanting to spend that much money on the car. But um, eventually we'll get a new windshield. The car is not perfect, it's definitely not a show car. It's got a few dents in it. It's got some scratches in the paint. You know, the leather's not perfect. It's decent, but it's not perfect. Put so much leather conditioner on it over the years, and that's helped the seats get softer and better, but still not perfect. But like I said, it's kind of nice having, it's not like a beater, but a, a driver for sure. Issues. 
we just clean the grounds um, and it takes care of it. It's got a weird electronic system. A lot of people say the wiring on these is a nightmare and gremlins and horrible. It's really not that bad if you clean the grounds. Everything usually works fine. But a lot of people just don't know that. Um, I'm trying to think. It's a very, very straightforward car. But I haven't had hardly any issues. I changed the wheels from stock to these. Much bigger and oh, buddy. Uh, much bigger, wider. I think they look a lot better. For some reason, my sound cut out right there, but pretty good timing because we were pulling up to my liquor store right here on the right. Uh, real estate is what I do and have been able to afford all these cars with, 
but I've also started some businesses lately in the liquor store, mini mart with apartments upstairs. And as you can see, I also popped up the headlights, which are a cool feature on this car too. I also want to show what this car looks like clean and fixed up. So this is from a previous video I did quite a few years ago. And um, the car might have a few scratches from my kids and different things it didn't have before, but it does clean up pretty nicely. I put those wheels on it shortly after buying it, put bigger tires on it. it makes it look so much better um, than the stock kind of phone dial. Not phone dial, I forget what they're called. They're like the square, a whole circle your wheels. I'm not sure, but these look so much better. Um, and, uh, really is a beautiful car in person there. You just, it's one of those cars you see and you just go, what is that? Cause they look so unique and they're wide and have the cool lights. Uh, engine is very pretty as well. I need to clean it and make it look like that again, even though it wasn't super clean at that point, it's way better than it is now. And um, the interior is a little nicer in this picture now, too. Like I said, the car's kind of been up on top of the lift for a long time, and uh, it's been neglected a tiny bit. But that's one of the problems and first world problems you have when you've got quite a few cars and quite a few different things that you need to drive and have fun with. But this is definitely um, one of my favorites. Like I said, the seats aren't perfect, but they're super comfortable. Um, conditioner helps a ton. I believe they're original, uh, just a really cool, fun car. And the five speed makes such a difference in value. And yes, my Diablo, that's what it looks like at home. So here's the first startup. We'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching. Appreciate any subscriptions. And we've got a lot more videos before and after this one. <laughs>